In a photo studio in Toronto, Janet Charchuk is getting ready for her close-up. As a member of Voices at the Table for Advocacy, better known as VADA, she's had her photo taken before, but this time is special. A group portrait is being taken to mark a milestone in the group's history, their 10th anniversary, a moment captured in time to remind them of their success advocating for people with Down syndrome, success no one could have imagined when the group formed a decade ago. VADA is the steering committee for the Canadian Down Syndrome Society. Executive Director Kirk Crowther co-founded the group in 2005. CDSS really felt the need that it was important that self-advocates make changes in communities across Canada. That these self-advocates could talk to new parents, young families, families with older children, professionals, educators about what it is like to live with Down syndrome. Ten enthusiastic adults with Down syndrome were selected from across the country. My ability is that I'm able to speak up for people who cannot speak up for themselves. People that have Down syndrome, that they, they need to know that they have no limitations and it doesn't matter if they have Down syndrome or not. I love to witness and I love to draw, I love to go shopping, I like to hang out with my boyfriend, family, friends. I was doing better because I wanted to do so good for my community and I wanted to be a public speaker. I am the chair of VADA. It means that I somewhere I can use my voice to see a bigger picture and help others with disabilities see their abilities. Little did they know that when they signed up, they would be helping to create an innovative advocacy model that inspires other groups to follow suit in other countries. Nor would they know that the project, which was originally slated for 18 months, would continue for a decade with no signs of ending. One of the unique aspects, certainly of the VADA committee, is they're all individuals with Down syndrome from different communities across Canada. So they've certainly had different life experiences. All of them are able to share those life experiences and create a direction for our organization in regards to the best way to support adults with Down syndrome. I travel to Kitchener, Winnipeg, Calgary, Toronto, Saskatchewan. I love to travel. The benefit of having the VADA committee at the Canadian Down Syndrome Society is it does give the opportunity for individuals with Down syndrome to be leaders in their community to get people to see how that's having someone with Down syndrome as a friend, as a co-worker, will benefit everyone in that class, everyone in that workplace. Everyone has their challenges and their own abilities too, and I'd like to help them with that. VADA's mantra is see the ability, and it's the member's personification of ability that makes a tremendous impact on changing perceptions. I think my ability is to make a difference. Mes forces sont euh, le plus drôle. I paint. I take art classes. My ability is that I'm a bright kid. My ability is easy to talk to people. I think my ability is, is acting. Gift of performing. Because I love to perform. Andreas Prinz has been a member of VADA since the group started. Advocacy is one of his many passions. But the one that seems to quiet critics of people with Down syndrome the most is his ability as an actor. Hey, hello, Kevin Smith. How are you, how are you doing, my friend? I got this invitation. I've been growing here. It helps me to conquer my fear, because when I'm here, I have no fear. No anxiety. He's an extremely expressive person. Uh, he's quite articulate. Okay, Kevin, I love you too. <laughs> I think what I hope for in my life is to put my um, play on. It's a story of a little boy who's going through lots of difficult times. 
but at the end, he sees light at the end of the tunnel. This is me, the stud man. Andres is a, a wonderfully kind, good guy, but he's a human being and he has love and anger, all the stuff that we deal with. I'm just like you, I'm a human being with feelings. I have Down syndrome and I'm glad to be Down syndrome. The steering committee is required to meet with the Canadian Down Syndrome Society Board at least three times a year to present their advocacy efforts. I had a fundraiser. We received $818. Bragging is welcomed here. After all, the more they accomplish, the more communities can see and understand the contributions people with Down syndrome can make. Support, education, and employment are just some of the issues the group has tackled, and they regularly demonstrate their ability in these fields. One, two, three, better! Like Brandon Thielen. Unable to find suitable employment when he graduated from college, he decided to carve his own path and start his own business. And like any business owner, he takes a break from the meeting to meet with a potential customer and show his ability as an entrepreneur. My ability is my business scanning. Um, it's called Solo Skiloe. I take photo albums and slides, and I scan pictures, put them onto memory sticks and DVDs. I love being my own boss, and I also take old home videos and put them onto DVD as well. I looked at other pos possibilities of um, jobs that, that w w was with computers, but there wasn't. So then I decided to start my own business. People who have Down syndrome it is that um, we are unique and, and we are just like um, people like you. And, and I'm proud of, of who I am now. We are not perfect. We all make mistakes. And it's okay to make mistakes because we can learn from them. Nothing I cannot do. I do anything that I put my mind to. I want them to see the person I really am and not my disability. I wanted to educate people and let them know that people with Down syndrome are people first and that they need to be treated as equal in the eyes of employers and in the eyes of society and in the community. Relatively new VADA member Jessie Huggett is missing the meeting because her dance troupe Propeller is in the final days of rehearsal for a large performance. She's shown her ability to perform on many stages, but the one performance that matters to her the most is the one called Life. I love dancing and I love, you know, doing a solo, which I'm working on, and it's just, it's really fun, I really enjoy it. We're actually gearing up for a May show. This piece is called Deliverables. So it's about the workforce. I've known Jessie a long time and she's, yeah, she's fabulous. Very expressive, has a huge heart, and really gives a lot to the audience. In the children's program, we have a couple of little uh, gals with Down syndrome and some of them have come up to me and said, you know, when I get older, I want to be a dance assistant, just like Jessie. I think it gives the families hope, too, when they see Jessie as a, a role model. Advocating and speaking up is really important because it gives us a chance to really be out in the world and say, okay, this is who I am and this is what I want to be and no one can tear me down. With the meeting coming to a close, the members spend the afternoon drafting their recommendations on new issues for the board. As a group, they can proudly say they've raised the profile of the ability of people with Down syndrome. They've showcased their ability both locally and globally. I've been across Canada and I talked to a bunch of lawyers about the rights of people of, with disabilities. And the UN, I got to meet the Canadian ambassador. I volunteer at the St. Michael's Extended Care. They've never worked with someone that has Down syndrome, but get to know a little bit more about it. Brandon, can you move in this side? 
It's amazing that the VADA members can go into a medical school and do a presentation, and that may be the only training they get specific to Down syndrome. And that impact cannot be understated. The work we do is important, and the work we do is changing lives. And that's what it's all about. Being a VADA, it helped me in so many ways, you know. To stand up what you believe in, to have a voice and an opinion. Maybe one day I'll be the chairperson of the VADA, but I'm not there yet. I know that I can do stuff out there and make them proud. Il a une grande sensibilité à voir rien de négatif. Il faut toujours voir le positif. When this committee was formed 10 years ago, no one could have imagined the success Voices at the Table for Advocacy would achieve. But if the past is any indication of the future, one can only picture the possibilities that the impact VADA will have over the next 10 years.